Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement, Dino Dungeon. Okay, so today we will be taking another look at the latest Takara Tomi Animal Figurines collection. We have actually revealed this in our previous video, but I promise you guys that we will be taking a look at our entire collection once more, okay? And hopefully we are able to find the red lion which was missing from the previous video, okay? So let's align all the figures up right here on the table. So let's do this. Alright guys, so let's begin by taking a look at some of the older figures first. Of course, we can take a look at the new ones as well. So right here, we have a blue wheel. Just gonna put, put this right here. And um, let's take a look at one of these new figures, which is the um, Takara Tomi Indian Rhinoceros. And the name is actually known as Cyrus. It's a really beautiful one. You can see it comes with two color colors on its body and of course the horn is actually painted in yellow which is kind of cool okay so let's place this indian rhinoceros right here i'm gonna close the box right back and let's have a look at another figure what do we have right here a white tiger i think this is quite an old figure from a couple of years back so just gonna put this one right here here's a zebra a really nice one and here we have a whale shark so whale sharks are basically filter feeders. If I'm not wrong, Takara Tomi actually produced quite a number of different whale sharks, but they are, you know, technically the same. And right here we have a great white shark. I love the sea animals from the Takara Tomi. I think they look really good. Okay, next up, let's have a look at another new figure. This is basically the gorilla, and the name is actually known as Suva. Suva, the silverback gorilla. And this is a very nice figure of it. You can see it has some really nice patterns on his back. So what I like about this series is that um, they have actually given them like a very cool color scheme, which is not, you know, realistic, but I think they are pretty cool. Um, and each figure actually comes with a collector's card, which I think it's a um, pretty good one. And it also comes with this little graph, attributes graph. Um, which looks really good. So let me just close this back. Okay, let's have a look at the other rhinoceros. So previously from the NEA series, you know, Takara told me already has a gorilla figure and you can see they are both identical in terms of the body. The, the, the sculpt is actually the same, except that the colors are different. Okay, next we have a chimpanzee. I'm pretty sure you know, later on, you can actually release a chimpanzee. So chimpanzee are extremely strong. They're extremely, you know, intelligent. I've actually watched a Netflix docu-series uh, about chimpanzees called The Chimp Empire. Wow, it was really, really cool. And uh, you guys know that chimpanzees, they will actually attack other chimpanzees from other tribes. Yeah. Okay, and here we have a... Nile Crocodile, a nice one. Just gonna put this one right here. Orcar, all right. Manta Ray, so you can see, we actually have quite a number of sea animals from Takara Tomi. Okapi, which is known as, you know, the nickname is actually the Unicorn of Congo. And here of a lion. I don't think this lion, it's, um, you know, from the same series as that, but it's a really beautiful one as well. Oops, let me just put this one um, right here. Okay, let me just grab hold of another one. We have a polar bear. So you can see there are actually two polar bears in Takara Tomi's collection. This one is actually the, the newer sculpt. This one basically features, uh, you know, the legs, which is not so, doesn't look so dynamic. This one is basically shows that it is moving forward. Both are equally nice, I would say. Here's another lion. So let's place the lion together. Here's another one. And this lion figure, it's basically one of the um, earlier ones. There is an actually another one which is much older. Um, I can show you guys in a while. Hippopotamus, um, this is a new figure. So it comes with two points of articulation, one on the neck and one on the upper jaw, which is fantastic. Okay, next up, let's have a look at this, which is a giraffe. And this giraffe is actually known as Armine. Okay, 
really beautiful one. I really love this color scheme because it's, it looks very unusual, which I think um, is very unique for a giraffe because normally for giraffes, you see this kind of paint scheme, yellow with brown patterns. So I think this is quite a refreshing touch. And um, yeah, very nice. Let's see what else we've got. We have a zebra. I'm not too sure whether this zebra is part of this series. Uh, but it's a new new one, that's for sure. And you can see the stripes are actually in a different color as compared to the older ones. It is featuring stripes of, you know, in a light brown shade. And here we have a rhinoceros, beautiful African rhin rhinoceros, a giraffe calf right here. Another orc car. Is this the first orc of the day? Nope, second one. And here's another lion. This one is also a relatively new figure. You can see you're able to rotate the head and the lower jaw can also open as well, which is kind of cool. And here's another gorilla, but this gorilla is in a different pose. Okay, so let me just put this one right here. Let's move on. Another lion, beautiful white lion right here. And here we have an elephant. Okay, and speaking of elephant, we do have a brown elephant from Takara Tomi latest series and um, I feel the color scheme looks amazing. Really love how they have painted this. Base brown, you know, for the body and a lighter shade of cream color for the patterns. Really cool. And if you take a look at the facts, the stats of the elephant, you can see it is pretty strong. And um, yeah, actually comes with a storyline for every single figure. So he sends Rattar and the others on an adventure after foreseeing an eruption. Very cool. Very nice. Um, let's see. Okay. And here we have a kangaroo right here. Kangaroo. With a Joey inside. And here is another great white shark figure. Um... A monkey. I can't remember the name of this monkey, guys. So if you guys do remember, let me know. And this is another different giraffe in terms of the color scheme. Even the patterns are slightly different. Darker shade of brown. And the pattern seems to be slightly smaller as well. Okay, here we have our little pony. Very adorable. A lioness right here. Another elephant, so you can see this elephant and the previous one is actually the same. Pretty much the same. Another Okar, exactly the same figure. A Cheetah, this one is really beautiful one. This is um, a newer version, a new release. Hippopotamus, so this one was the very first Hippopotamus and later on they actually released a one which is a slightly smaller, you can see it's slightly smaller, but it is much better when it comes to the articulation. Yeah, you can see the articulation is way big, way nicer. So I'm, I'm not too sure whether to reduce the size to save the cost, um, you know, because the articulation on um, the head, there are more articulation, so it could cost more to produce. I'm not too sure. So here's a lion, white lion. I still can't find the red lion. I'm not too sure whether it's missing. And this one is a really nice one, a black lion. I think it looks really cool. Panda holding on to a bamboo. And here we have a Arctic Fox. Beautiful figure as well. This is a Bowhead Wheel, which is a very nice one. So this one actually came in a book set. It is like a plastic book. Um, it's like a play set. Very nice one. Sea Turtle. Okay. Let's open up another one, which is the Hedgehog. And this Hedgehog is actually known, the name is Heart. Okay, I, I still have yet to um, open. So you, we, we got to swap, you know, the tree with the parrot. So this is a little Hedgehog and you can actually close it, you know, just a moment. You can close it and curl it into a little ball, which is very, very adorable. Okay. Pacific White Cider Dolphin, awesome figure. Another kangaroo, exactly the same one as the previous one, I think. Beluga Whale, 
I'm gonna put a cheetah right here, guys. Flamingo. And not a turtle. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. Bactrian camo, guys. So the Bactrian camo is a very interesting animal. They can actually go without food for about a week or two, which is kind of cool. And they basically use their harms to store food and water, fats and water. Here's another elephant. This one is a different sculpt. You can see the legs are bent. And you are able to find more details on this figure. The, um, the skin is more wrinkled. Very nice. And the mouth is actually open. Very beautiful elephant, I must say. Okay. Let's move on to the next figure. We have a tiger right here. This is a relatively new figure, okay, because the, the very first figure of a tiger is actually, you know, the legs is actually straight. So Indian rhinoceros, okay, so just now I've tr just shown you guys the latest, latest one, so they are basically the same sculpt. If you do a comparison with the African rhinoceros, you can actually see, you know, significant differences. The body of the Indian rhinoceros is totally different. It is more wrinkled and it seems to have an armor over it. Yep, and um, plenty of little bumps on them as well. Yet another Okar, too many of them. A lion, this is the very first um, figure of the Takaratomi lion. The sculpt is the, basically the, the classic one. We have an American body ego, body ego. Spotted seal, cute little one. Another elephant. This one is a really nice one as well. You can see the the pose is actually very different as well. But uh, to be honest, I really love the first version. The first version is very, really classic. It's simple. It's nice. So I definitely prefer the very first version the most. Yep, that's for sure. Okay, another spotted seal. And here is the chimpanzee. So I think we have two chimpanzees. They're different. In terms of the scope, this one has the mouth opened. I still can't find the missing lion, guys. The red lion. So this is a really nice touch. I love how they have um, improved in the latest um, figures. This is a peacock. You can actually open up its tail, which is beautiful. Awesome. Megalodon. Nice one. Here we have a pro proboscis monkey, which is um, you know a new figure. Quite a new one. Tiger, the very first tiger, beautiful, beautiful sculpt and beautiful paint scheme. Love the eyes, shiny metallic eyes, nicely painted. Pandar, okay, that is an, an old sculpt, I think. Cheetah, the very first Cheetah from Takara told me as well. There's something on the floor, which I'm not too sure what it is, okay. It's uh, a flamingo. All right, let's try to find the other. I think I didn't purchase a lion. I think so. I think I didn't purchase it. Yeah, yeah. But I'll I'll do it next time. Here's another lion. This is the um, original version. Um, I have a penguin, but this is actually not from Takara Tomi. It's from Bandai. It's still a very nice one. I have nowhere to keep, so I'm keeping it with. You know, the Karatomi figures. Here's um, a dolphin, bottlenose dolphin, zebra, another one, which is um, you know, the same as the um, old sculpt. Emperor penguin, cute and adorable. Another dolphin. Um, you can just see. The paint scheme is actually slightly different. Yep, I think they're from different sets. But still using the old sculpt. A wolf. So you can see these two are basically the same 
Same scope, just with a different paint scheme. Another spotted seal. Also the same scope, different paint scheme. This is a crocodile. Nice. Okay, let's um, open up the other one. Oops. This Galactus parrot, which looks really adorable. You can spread the wings out like this. Awesome stuff. Okay, the other one is basically um, the otter. A blue otter. Really nice one. Okay, let's see what kind of otter is this. It's the Asian clot otter, if I'm not wrong. Let's see. Asian small clot otter. Awesome. Okay. Let's close this. Yeah, this one is really colorful. I, I love it. Another wheel shark right here. We have some beetles. I can't remember the names of the beetles, that's for sure. A horse, beautiful white horse. A reindeer. Pacific white cider dolphin. Sea lion. Sea lion. <coughs> A baby orca. Cute. Japanese monkey, quite a nice one. A horse. Koala holding on to a tree. Lioness. This was this one is actually quite an old figure. A couple of years back. Stellar sea eagle, relatively newer than the rest, that's for sure. Um What is this guys? Um, I can't remember the name. I think it's a stork. I think so. Grizzly bear. A beetle. Emperor penguin. I like this one. Rock hopper penguin. Very cute and adorable. And here we have um a rabbit. Adorable farm animal. I think this is an alpaca, if I'm not wrong. It could be a llama. This one is a really nice one. It's one is one from the um, you know newer series, and this is a chameleon. You can actually pull the tongue, you can stretch the tongue. Cute and adorable. Okay, we have two lions from Bandai. You can see they are beautiful um, figures. And here we have um, a koala. I think this is a skunk, if I'm not wrong. Cute little skunk. Um, a polar bear. A small little whale. Um, last but not least, we have an African penguin. I think we still have like one really tiny little meerkat right here. Tiny little one. All right, I think that's about it, guys. These are basically, you know, my entire, I want to say entire, most majority of my collection from Takara Tomi. So, yep, hopefully you guys like this. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.